So, you want to know how to put in or take out your G3 board? I'm about to show you. Alright, let me get my Allen key out right quick. one side the grip frame let me get the other side all right grips off Unscrew these, obviously. Okay. I'd suggest taking out the trigger as well, because it does tend to get in the way when you do this so bit of a tedious task but hey you get a new board you're gonna like it it's, it'll be worth it I know this seems like a lot to do, but once you get your board in there, you're typically not going to take it out, so it's not really that big of a deal. Unless you're wanting to show how to do it, and you have to take your marker completely apart for a second time. I'm not naming any names here, but you know who you are. Alright, triggers out right there, got it that off to the side, unhook the wiring, there's one, there's the other, Put the body assembly over there, okay, and you got it, I already took the screws out from the back, there you go, what you're going to do is you're going to take a small screwdriver like this one, and you're going to put it in front of of the micro switch and then push it out through the bottom and it should just come out like that see that simple now I know with the uh, spec R boards this is a G3 this is regular G3 nothing no IQ no no uh, spec R no SE just flat out 2007 black and silver stock G3 gonna put the board back in it this is a G3 board this is not a spec R board don't get them confused because on the spec R, the button, the power button right here, is actually a little bit longer. So you might have trouble getting it in to your G3 if you don't shave it down a little bit with uh, sandpaper or whatnot. So here we go, I'm going to put it back in. You're going to put it in the same way it came out through the bottom right there. 
come on you. Stuck on something. Oh, I'm sorry. What you're going to do is you're going to put it in button first. I'm sorry. You're going to put it in to where the button hooks in there first. And then once you get in that, you're going to press the micro switch down. You're going to get your screwdriver again. Or you can do it with your finger uh, occasionally. Uh, in this case, I'm going to need the screwdriver. So you put the screwdriver in there again, and it'll push up. And as you can, I don't know if you can see, see in there exactly, but the micro switch is through there. So that's what you do. You're going to screw it back in right there. And basically put all these little pieces back on your grip frame, your regulator, all that great stuff. So that's how you install it. Okay?